have insurance, why use it? Why should we pay just because we said we would? Because you said you would. What do you matter anyway? As a nation, we have to move forward. And we are obsessing about... Ladies, this is Roman Bailey. America fucking rules. We've got to conquer space, justify the world's hair, and you people are worrying about a stiff hip? Please die. Hey, did you know on the space station they have to drink their own piss? Interesting thing to say. I'm talking about interesting. All you people want to talk about is money and co-payments and stuff. I just talked about swilling piss. No wonder Where you want to go, man? This city That's better than me. Thank you very about. much. We ain't talked about it. I told you I'm not gonna go. I'm your brother. I'm supposed to take care of my family. Hey! I'm beyond being taken care of now. Hey! 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 Your brother said you needed a hand. <laughs> Looks like you'll need more than that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh. <sighs> hey! Ah! Wake up, you fucking junkie! I'm awake! I was just wishing you'd leave. Hey, hey, sit down. That's pretty good gear. I'm pretty high. Good for you. Okay. Don't get sanctimonious on me. Okay. Why do you do this to yourself? Because it feels nice. Because it feels better to be high than not. Does it stop you thinking? <coughs> it stops you caring. Which is even better. So, what do you care about? I care about getting people back who claimed I was a grass. People who used that to steal shit off me. Huh. Maybe that's what your brother was talking about. When they said you needed help taking care of all the business. Sure. I mean, I ain't a saint. Uh. I ain't a man of principle. I... I messed up. But... I tried. I made a mistake! But I admitted it. We all make mistakes. Exactly! And this guy is STILL threatening to kill me and my family! What's his name? Uh, uh. Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. I heard he was living in Alderney. Can you get access to police computer? Sure. Find the fuck. Shut him. And his pals up. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his pals up. Apparently, your guy hangs out at the burger shop in the Alderney. Go check it out. Make sure his boys are there. I want them all to pay. What if he's alone? Keep the police car. He'll see you and think you're taking him down. First thing Bucky will do is run back to his crew. Fucking coward! He'd rather everyone go down than him take a fall alone. Sold me out, didn't he? I guess he did, man. I'll tell you when it's done.
Run to your friends, Bucky. The cops are here. Nico! Nico, my boy! Good to hear your voice. To speak to you, I mean. Derek, you okay? Bucky and this boys are dead. What? Sorry, not off for a second. Bucky dead? <laughs> Good. Yeah, alive. But dead. It's all the same, though, is it? Living, dead, good, bad, right, wrong, chalk, cheese. I'll speak to you when you're back among the living. Where can I take you? Spend a lot. Go for it. I, I want you. to go to something. This is it. You Thank you. Online. You should join an online dating Sleep with many more. Huh? That thing? Our friend did what? Thirty-seven and eight? No. Huh. <laughs> What about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chop. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat. No, the guy with the, you know, the but a beep but a poop. Yeah, the guy with the and the. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I heard. So be cool, Ray. 
Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours? Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Let's prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki. the 
have I got myself into? You're driving, assholes! Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house for a fee that You know the one I need. Let me wait here. You're killing us, man. You people are heading towards the Dark Ages. Up until the 1950s, this country was sick, diseased with worry. We helped usher in change with drugs perfect for an America coping with anxiety due to the Civil Rights Movement. You guys want to take us back to home medicine? Please, you won't kill people with your nonsense. The fact is, the only thing that makes people better is drugs. Not hokum pokum, not shitting in a bag and sleeping with my dad. Narcotics are what matters. Drugs. Hey, you Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardpack. He'll call you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house for a fever head and wet She's the one with the headache. Need to learn. Learn to master dipshit. Where to? A little girl, a liver transplant. Nice. Oh, We're going to. Uh... That's uh, very kind of you. No one's here. Just you and me. Come in, come in. Beer? No, thank you. Oh, I agree. Let's have whiskey instead. Packy swears by you. Absolutely swears by you. Yeah? <sighs> you handled yourself well on the bank job. It was fun. Fun? Too much fun. That's always been this family's problem. Fun. Good causes, a good laugh, some stupid dream or some stupid distraction. <laughs> but never any fucking focus. Never. Hmm. Focus. <sighs> All we've ever been is bitches, working for guineas, working for niggers, any asshole with a buck, 
A whole lot spent in a proper manner. Oh, yeah. Wine and women as quick as possible. And remain a slave forever. Very poetical. Yeah, I know. National tragedy. But I got a plan. You down, friend? Maybe. What is it? Well, first up, we gotta create a little problem between the Ancelotti's and their Albanian muscle for Jimmy P. You're gonna plant a bomb in Tony Black's car. Be rigged to a phone. Thing will go off when you dial a number. I want it to blow when they get back from their meeting. So the Ancelotti's think the Albanians did it. Exactly. Bombs in an alley off of Inchin Avenue. Get it? Give me a call. You know, Packy was right for once. I'm glad you're on board. We're going to Here we are. Thank you very much. So, Jerry, I got this bomb. All right, listen. The Ancelotti's and the Albanians are meeting in Little Italy. Tony's car is parked in an alleyway off of Feldspar Street. Now you put the bomb in the trunk, then follow the wise guys from their meeting back to the rest of their crew, then you blow the bomb. Make sure no one walks away. It's easy, right? So easy, I don't see why you ain't doing this yourself. Nico, I wouldn't trust myself with this task. You ain't got a gallon of whiskey in your system, and besides, you're being paid, ain't you? Call me when it's done. Dr. Sig? For sure. I want to go. Smell, I just laid some gas in here. That's great. Yeah, that's what's going over a barrel, Sal. At least it's better than dealing with those fucking drunken Irish bastards, though. Forget about it. Yourself and me. Was there ever a time you really wanted something and it didn't work out quite as you imagined? Or have you ever been in a relationship or professional situation that did not work out perfectly? Or possibly a feeling in your stomach that something is about to go wrong? And yes, you're wondering, how does she know all these things about me? Oh, what happened? Yes, I have a gift. A gift I learned roaming the streets of Eastern Europe, having lots of kids, and earning money by dancing and playing the violin. You see, I can divine the magical powers of the stars, and numbers like pi, read the wind and the tides to tell the future. I know skeptics scoff, but that is why they live such shallow and loveless lives, and often end up dying. Science blind you with senses. There is a sixth sense and a third eye, cells you don't even know about, and I have both. Let's go to this. 212 360 2367. Hey, uh, Beatrix, I listened to your show on the old station before you got thrown off. I am so glad you're back. I wanted to ask you 
tell me? It's a girl's name. It begins with a letter. It's not Rosa, is it? Uh, no, it's Martina. I knew it was not Rosa. This was the name of the peasant woman who's... Close, Martina. That was my next guest. The spirits were telling me both. Hello. Ancient people sought meaning in the stars. And you do too. The stars tell you when to hunt, when to harvest, when to make war. W. KTT, because the world needs a powerful America to tell it what to do. Battle. That's amazing. Really? Absolutely. You saved a civilization that were worshipped as a god. There are statues of you in Tasmania, covered in pigeon shit. There is a man with bad teeth and dirty hair who has just urinated on you. I think you always sort of knew this. No, wait. The spirit life is fading. I'm going to hazard a guess. Your great, great grandmother is dead. Yes? How did you know? I'm just a mouth that's dealing. The spirits speak through me. She's telling me something. Something about diamonds and true love. Got another credit card. The spirit world is telling me her first card bounced. No, please, just tell me about true love and the guy with the diamonds. Is it Tony McTony? I'd love to, dearie. Now, $500 sounds like a lot. Wait, wait, I'm getting something. You will meet him online. You should join an online dating service. Sleep with many men. Therein lies your prince. That's great! Well, but what about... why his life will be marred by failure. Oh, that's horrible. How can you tell? That's all we've got time for, dearie. What? Good luck. Enjoy the diamonds. Jerry, I hit the Ancelotti's crew real hard. 
Everyone got taken down. The rest of them should think the Albanian muscle is making a play. Yeah, I knew my brother would put his faith in a bum. He'll be at them elbows in no time. That's step one of the plan complete. Come see me. Talk about step two. I'm going to need this. So we need to... Here we go. He and your mother... I'm here to see Mr. Pecorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg! What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Ah. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know.